the New York Post is a New York Post because of this article here. President Trump's re-election campaign Wednesday accused Hunter Biden of blame selling of access to his father and Vice President Joe Biden in the wake of a bombshell catch a documents about the family foreign dealings by the exposed by the post. And that way this entire operation is set up to make money of Joe Biden for decades has been ignored for far too long. Trump 2020 senior advisor Jason Miller said during a call with reporters labeling the influential family Biden Inc. and calling for the greater scrutiny of their business dealings. In 2015, email obtained by the Post reveals that Hunter Biden introduced his father to Magdalene Polarski, an advisor to the board of Ukraine Energy Company, Polarisma, while Hunter served on its board and earned a reported salary up to $50,000 a month. And that's where the rest of, rest of that uh, is concerning because the Washington Post says otherwise. There's also no indication that Hunter Biden replied to email. Moreover, more alleged email published by the New York Post can no the notion that Biden could influence his father when what he will do and say is out of our hands. Hunter Biden wrote in an email that the New York Post said was sent in April 13, 2014. What does the Biden campaign say? Andrew Bates, a campaign spokesman for Joe Biden, said a review of Biden's schedules from 2015 provides no record of any such meeting. Officials who worked for Biden at the time told the fact checker that no such meeting took place. I was with the vice president in all of his meetings on Ukraine, said Michael Comforter, Biden's foreign policy advisor in 2015. He had never met with this guy. In fact, I have never heard of this guy until the New York Post story broke. Ask to whoever the email is genuine Hunter Biden's attorney George Messiers told the fact checker we have no idea where this came from and can, certainly cannot credit anything that Moody Dream Lally provided to the New York Post, but what I do know for certain that this purported meeting never happened. A separate article about another email claims that public relations company that worked for Burisma was allowed to take part in the conference about a, a coming visit by Joe Biden to Ukraine. But there was nothing secret about this call and the transcript was released publicly and posted on the White House website. More broadly, the near post repeats the falsehood events by Trump that the elder Biden pressured government officials in Ukraine into firing a prosecutor who was investigating the company. And then you can pause to read this right here because it says it all there. He made a hard copy of the hard drive and gave it to Giuliani. This past weekend, Giuliani has a copy to near post, but presumably the laptop would have not been of use to the year long Senate investigation without no room doing a Biden. <laughs> Thank you.